for this particular worksheet, all I'm going to do is show you a little bit about the graphing calculator so you're able to do these on the graphing calculator. So let me first pull it up here. Okay, there it is. The first thing we need to do is we need to put our graphing calculator into complex form. And the way we do that is we have to hit our mode key. Let me just show you where that is. Which is right here. So go ahead and push your mode key if you haven't already. Okay, and what you want to do is go down right here to the third to line, bottom line where it says real. This is already in complex form, but in case yours is not. You want to go to this line. You want to move over to the A plus BI and hit enter. That way that's the only one highlighted on that particular line. Once you're done with that, now it's in complex form. Let's go ahead and get out of here by hitting second and quit. Okay, now in order to do these particular problems, we have to be able to locate I on our calculator. So, so let me show you where that is. The I is located right here, so the way you get to it is you're going to hit second and then your decimal point key. Okay, so let's do our first example here. Our first example is 6 plus 7i minus 4 minus 3i. So I'm just going to put in just how it looks there. So again, to get the I, hit second and then my decimal point. And then the second complex number, 4 minus 3i. Okay, and then there's our answer for that one. Okay, let's go on to the second one now. The second one is 7 plus 7 minus 6i squared. So let's go to that one next. Okay, so I think I'll just clear this out first to, to start it here. Okay, for that one, again, we just put in how it looks here. 7 minus 6i, and then you can either hit the square key or the arrow up and the square, either way. And for that one, we get the answer of 13 minus 84i. Okay, so that takes care of part B. Let's go to part C now. So I'm going to clear this out. So part C here says 1 plus 5i. Oops, hit the wrong thing there. Okay, let me do it again here. 1 plus 5i times, and I don't have to put the times, I can just keep my parentheses, 1 plus 7i. So this, this is two complex numbers multiplied together. Okay, when I hit enter, I will get my answer now. And I get negative 34 plus 12i. Okay. Let's go on to the next one now. Um, this next one, this part D, is divided. This one will be very useful and we'll use something special in this particular example. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to part, part D here. So I have 4 minus 3i divided by parentheses 1 minus 8i. Okay, when I hit enter, I get something really messy. Normally, you want to put this in a fraction form, and the way we do that is we convert everything in a fraction form by pushing this math key. And the first one, number one, converts it to a fraction. Okay, so there is our answer. Now, normally, D is written a little bit differently in the homework, so I'm just going to go ahead and write down how it normally shows up as. Normally, D is written like this. And then again, remember, the way you do is you multiply by the complex conjugate, and this is what you, you would get for your final answer, according to the calculator. Okay. Okay, so that concludes this particular worksheet.